Hi, this is Peter from WAMBAM. We're going to show you our typical process for using our flexible build system for resin and taking your parts off the machine and best cleaning practices for both the build plate, the flexible build system, and for your models. So let's start. We printed our alien mascot on the Saturn II, it's a medium to large size printer. Um, and we let it drip dry using a, a drip hanger. And there are quite a few available. This happens to be one that I've designed. They're on Pulse 3D, and you'll be able to find those. We'll provide some links below. Um, once it's dripped off, and the objective is to get as much of the liquid resin to drip back down into the vat, so you could reuse the resin and also so it doesn't dirty your alcohol too much. So once it's done that, we're going to bring that over on top of a slab mat and we are going to go ahead and release the flexi plate we're going to give the build head a quick wipe down to get off excess resin we just want to keep our alcohol as pure as possible as long as possible and we're going to sit that inside of our wash station and we're going to provide a link below for the SDLs to be able to print these um, raised up platforms that allow the sediment to go down and also showing you how to uh, to make and use this. Uh, you don't ever want to let the build head with our magnet sit in the alcohol for more than one to two minutes. We just don't want the alcohol getting to the 3M glue and eroding it. So I'll put it in there while I'm popping the model off. Um, the model came off very easily. If you have a part that's very difficult because it's small and it doesn't want to flex off, you are welcome to use a plastic scraper. I print all the supports with a nice bottom skate so you can get your spatula under there. And even if you have to use a heavy duty scraper to get it off, it's no problem. If you scratch the surface, you could always refinish with a little bit of sandpaper. We recommend 400 grit. And if you do use sandpaper, make sure you wash with alcohol and fresh paper towel a number of times. Once again, I'm gonna get as much of the alcohol off as possible. And I'll put this into the resin wash tank. And this could sit for hours. It really doesn't, won't affect it. Once again, the build head has finished and I don't want that in there too long because we don't want that resin getting to the 3M glue holding the magnet down, nor to the UV coating we put on the magnet. So we'll just drip that dry. We'll give it a quick dry wipe. And you may want to just let it sit out there on some paper towel for a while. We don't want to put the flexi plate back on until this is completely dry. This trapped alcohol between the flexi plate and the magnet you can eventually erode the coating on the magnet so while that is drying the flexi plate is ready if we like to you can leave it sitting in i'm going to go ahead and take it out once again a little bit of paper towel to dry this thing off keep it nice and clean and we want that to completely dry and air dry before you use it we do have a little 3D printed stand for the flexi plates, and I'll link the model in the video below so you could also print one of these. We have a wall hanging version and a stand up one, and this will just allow it to dry very well before you reassemble and put it on your system. If you've got a double wham, you could always put a fresh one right onto the magnet as soon as the magnets dry and go right back into printing. So let's talk about cleaning up our models. So for cleaning up the models, I usually work with some dirty old paper towel underneath because if they are hollowed out, there is a possibility that some resin is going to come pouring out of here. Um, you can rinse and wash right away. I tend to try to remove the easy to remove supports. Um, I didn't bring the clipper with me into the video lab, but we'll take off the supports that we can. I'm probably guessing the ones that go through the pass-through hole are going to be very difficult. 
They are. So I'm going to leave one on there. It's not going to affect it. I'm just giving a little pressure to the supports, working my way around. You can use hot air. Uncle Jesse really loves the hot air to help relieve the supports. But I use a pretty small contact point, even on heavy supports, so they don't tend to stay on too hard. Let's see if I can just rip this off. There we go. Got a little umbilical cord sticking out. You could throw away the supports. We tend to keep them. Just put them out in the sun to dry or in your UV chamber, and they're good for the um, FEP clean process. And there is our model, and it's pretty clean. You could try to drip dry it. This thing has already emptied very well. I have a number of holes to allow the, um, the resin to come out, even with the suction force. This is printed like this. I raise it up off the platform so I get holes in the feet that actually drain the legs. You want the holes facing the build plate. People tend to think you might need the holes on the top, but you don't because that's the area where it's in contact with the base and you have high suction force with the FEP. So we need the holes above it in multiple places. Anyway, that's done. We're going to drop him into our alcohol cleaning station. And the best process that I could recommend is grabbing yourself a toothbrush or a soft brush of any sort and passing this over every area of the outside. The reason why is as the resin is burning in each layer, um, the screen is very precise, but light tends to dissipate. And that means you have very cured resin where the model was supposed to be, but you also have gelled half cured resin where the light kind of just dissipated around those pixels that were exposed. So we want to get off that sludge. This will make your models be so much crisper and neater. If you're printing transparent, it's a great trick to get your transparent prints to print very well. You can see that there's some dirty, cloudy alcohol coming out of the inside because it's cleaning the inside. We want to do that a lot. Um, the inside is very hard for the UV light ever to get to, and we really don't want liquid resin in there long term. It'll eventually warp your models. So I go over this with a soft brush, try not to scratch. Once that I've gotten the whole area, this is ready to be dropped into our wash and cure stations if you'd like. I tend to fill it with alcohol and drain it a few times. Luckily the resin strain bases are going to keep the sediment down. I try not to stir it up too much while I'm working with it because I want the sediment to stay down and not get restarted up onto the model. But right now we have a very, very clean model. I think I've got all the sections. So we can lay out our whammy to drip dry one further time if we care to or drop it into the washing cure station. I like to do this before dropping in the washing cure station. That way my alcohol in the washing cure station really stays whoop, stays pure for the longest time. I just dropped Whammy. This is the Wham Bam mascot um, Whammy. I had a couple of defects in print. I don't think I supported the tip very well, but it's pretty nice. And uh, I'll even give a link to that if you want to print one of these. And they're a lot of fun. They can be printed in resin or in FDM multicolors. There we go. That's it. So enjoy. And I hope this is a useful video to you, both for cleaning your build heads, your flexi plate, and your parts. I'm going to put him out here and we could have a look. There we go.